Hey guys, so today's video I want to review some newer products to myself. It's my birthday tomorrow. Um, by the time you've seen this, I would have already turned 33. I got like a 25% off, I think it was, at Cult Beauty. And I wanted to try a bunch of Patrick Tile makeup. I was very tempted to try the foundation, but I've heard really bad reviews. So I'm just gonna try a few of like more luxury things, including one of the new eyeshadows by Charlotte Tilbury. Uh, I've even got uh, a mini of the Kosas uh, mascara. I just wanted to try out a bunch of these things on camera because why not? And then quite a few of these products, like the, the Patrick Tar ones especially. I've got his blush, his contour duo. I got a lip liner, which I think is in my makeup bag. Is it in here? I also actually got one of his, why is everything fluffy? I actually got uh, the contour brush as well. I know like these things aren't new, but I wanna know if we're, they're worth the hype all the, for all this time. So let me scoot you in so we can do my eyeshadow. Putting on my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion. I've been using a bunch of these like older elf eyeshadows recently and I forgot how amazing they are. This one's the Holy Smokes palette which has got some warmer tones, some cooler tones, some more colourful. I also have, yeah I love this one. This is in Smoky. This is, I think this is discontinued. I think all of these are discontinued. And then I also have the original Mad for Mats. So I think I'm actually gonna throw some of these in my crease today. The Mad for Matt original. And then I will come back to show you a uh, hypnotizing pop shot, easy color to my, <sighs> this is a long ass fucking name. Hypnotizing pop shot, easy color to make your eyes pop eyeshadow, I guess. I got Smoky Quartz, I was really tempted to get one of the uh, champagne colours as well, but how many champagnes do I need? Let me throw some mattes in my crease and then I'll be right back. Have you been playing in my brushes? Because they're all hairy. They've got like a dusting <laughs> of your hair. Have you been playing in mummy's brushes? Let's get something super super tacky to stick to. So. Look how big this is. I was genuinely surprised at how big this was. And then I got the, oh yeah, it's small. So you take this out. It's really pretty packaging. But you take this out and it's like, that's how small it is. It's fucking tiny. But never mind. Um, I will admit, I think this, I understand why they've done the jewel sort of thing. Each of these has like a different color. But what I will say is, I don't know, to me it just, it looks like it could cheapen it because it looks like one of those sort of Claire's makeup that the things can just come out of it they feel a lot more secure obviously than claire's makeup so this is a shade i got i know it looks super boring but i just i like shades like this i didn't want to spend like i think it's like 30 pounds something stupid on a shade i wasn't going to use that often like a blue or something it's actually got a decent mirror i will say it's so pretty very very sparkly it's honestly like a a cool tone bronze with a lot of sparkle i worry with glitters like this that you can like kind of see where my finger has touched it. It takes me back to those, what palette was it? The Natasha Denona Tropic Thunder palette or something? Tropic Thunder's a movie. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. When I'm finished, I'll make sure to show all of this in natural light. I like it because it has a slight duochrome to it. It's a little bit, just a tiny bit purple. It's like purple, silver, bronze sort of thing. Like I said, it definitely leans more cool tone. So I like it. Um, okay, let me do my foundation. So just really quick, I used a mixture of my Hourglass Spanish Stick Foundation and then I used, I'm just trying to use this up, the Tarte Clay Stick Foundation. These are actually exactly the same colour, <laughs> which was quite surprising. This one's more moisturised. I used my Tarte Shape Tape and my Colourpop Translucent Setting Powder. Oh my god, I didn't realise how much alone I am. That's okay. This is very similar to my next one. I need to stop collecting powders. <laughs> For brows, I used... I also found my fucking lip liner, which is in here. And then yeah, I put through my brows the 24 hour brow sitter because again, I'm trying to use this up. I smudged a couple of, you know, darker shades along my lash line. Uh, so yeah, the Kosas, this is the, the big clean mascara. I've heard so many good things about this. It's got like a curved brush. The Essence mascara, I love. They've got like a curved brush for the, is it the false? The full slashes mascara, which I absolutely adore. I haven't used that in a long time. It definitely feels like it grips because of the design of the wand. It's really pretty, very fluttery looking. I always say it, but this kind of like fluttery looking look, it reminds me a lot of the uh, NARS Climax mascara. I always compare them to that, but we'll see what it looks like with two coats afterwards. A little bit of a clumpy formula, 
not in a bad way in a you can sort of see it coating your lashes around here you can see almost like little balls on my lashes and we'll see how it does in the second coat but normally that means that I will get a lot of lashes uh, on my second coat so that's the first coat okay so let's see how it does with two coats oh yes that is a lot of definition holy shit I'll clean that up in a second because of the kind of like curve I accidentally just got a shitload of mascara there I'll deal with that in a second but look look how many more lashes that gave me compared to that with new mascaras especially when they're expensive high-end mascaras I tend to get the small version and then if I like it then I'll buy the bigger one the only thing definitely gets a little clumpy here big clump there hi bub that helped is a little baby face yeah that looks so again just ignore the big black mark look at those lashes it's as good as rare beauty i was gonna say it might be as good as my pat mcgrath but i've put rare beauty against pat mcgrath and then was like oh my god i actually way prefer pat mcgrath next is contour blush and highlights so i'm so excited about this i've been wanting to try this for ages but they haven't had the uh light shade so this is by patrick tar this is the cream and powder contour duo you can see casper there very reflective packaging very nice mirror actually it's a really good mirror because you can see like the whole half of your face for sculpting that's really good so i like that it comes with this again is the patrick tar for contour one so i'm just gonna use this for my cream and then i'll use like a normal powder brush i like this because it's like really easy to sculpt love that it comes with a super super uh, cool tone contour and then the warmer bronzer it's one of the reasons i have been wanting to get it for a while been out of stock on cold beauty for ages kind of going around my jawline like i normally do chiseling blends lovely and it's not too pigmented i like it i like this brush too i like having specific sometimes uh cream brushes my Sigma brush tends to be my favourite, but I like having a few extras. I think that's contoured me really nicely. Now we're going to grab the bronzer on a Linda Halberg brush. I'm just kind of placing it on top. I like Again, I like that it's not too pigmented so that you can build things up. Because building stuff up rather than shearing them down is much easier. When you're as light skinned as I am, things, they appear really quickly especially at warm bronzers this isn't too warm it looks very warm in the pan but it's actually not that warm neutral leaning slightly warm i just love how that blends in so seamlessly i feel like i could put on so many layers i don't know how well you can tell but blended so so seamlessly into my hairline like into my cheek here oh it's so pretty there's no like line it's just perfect keeping that on hand i'm i love that okay let me just quickly put highlighter on like booming the uh benefit cookie highlighter and then the blush i got again is another patrick tar that contour palette 100 percent worth the hype so easy to work with gorgeous packaging it is quite like luxe and heavy looking it's not as heavy as like a pat mcgrath product but it's cheaper than a pat mcgrath product and yeah i got the uh she's sincere blush peachy so oh, that was a lot of kick up oh, that's a lot peachier than i thought so the blushes are a bit more pigmented than the bronzer is you can tell immediately that's very almost nectarine-y but I, I love how these blend they blend so nicely into the skin just saw a review uh by is it morgan turner the from the thumbnail it looked like the palette isn't as good but yeah that blends beautifully so pretty really enjoy that i would would definitely look at next year possibly getting another shade last product is the lip liner i haven't heard that much about these lip liners but I have heard they are good. This is in She's Strong. It comes in like a rectangle slanted 
lip liner. I've never seen one like that before. And I was trying for ages to twist this and I thought I'd broken it because I thought, oh my god, am I meant to twist the top? You're not. You're meant to click it. Which means you've got to be very careful with how much you click up and down. I can't really tell how much I'm getting. I wore this for the uh, one of the last videos I posted. And I love the colour. It's really easy to fill your lips in with this shape. I thought this shape would be really difficult, but it's not because you can use it to like really get those lines. It's a very, very, very clever shape. This is the shade. I'm gonna mix it with my MAC Act Natural. Color kind. My blush really doesn't match my eyes, but uh, in a corner. Where are you? My Essence Melted Chrome. Super silver shade. I'm gonna put that in my inner corner. Ignore the mess behind me. I think it looks really, really pretty. The scar is great. I'll do a check in at the end of the night so you guys can see if the mascara flaked or anything. This is everything up close. It looks so, so smooth. I didn't even use a primer today. A contour, bronzer, that lip, and that sparkle. Yeah. I look a fucking mess. I got a few crumblies on my mascara, so the rest is great. No issues there. I mean, it's faded a little, but powder blush always fades. Even the lip liner. Uh, but yeah, I've got a few crumblies. So I will check how this does over the next, like, probably week. And then I will let you know, like, here, if this is, like, a consistent problem or if it's just a issue I had today because it was raining today when I went out. Otherwise... I like everything else. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give this a like and subscribe if you feel like it. I'd really appreciate it. I don't do makeup videos that often. Um, I do a lot more commentary nowadays uh, because that's what you guys tend to like. And also I don't buy that much makeup anymore. But if there's something you want to see, let me know in a comment below. I've got a few more Linda Halberg products turning up soon. So if you want to see reviews on that, make sure to let me know in a comment. But I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.